Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 Where we're now scheduling on our train that goes all the way from, um, I think it's from Bozeman uh, From the little wood plant All the way to our lumber yard in Portland It's a long train, but it's delivering more wood than ever before Which means we're making even more cash than ever before right now Wood gets dropped off. There's another train over here coming with wood. I tried to extend the platform over here, which didn't go too well, but we'll get onto that in just a moment. Guys, if you are enjoying Transport Fever 2 and want to see more, then make sure you smash that like button down below as I've built this global, I say global, this regional, um, this uh, countrywide American. Uh, I mean, you could class it as international because there is a few countries that we do go to, Mexico, Canada, and a couple of the uh, Caribbean islands. But uh, last episode, guys, we connected our last few cities. Now, every city in the game is now officially connected to a public transport route. And things are going really, really well. Your boy, Zach, over here was the last city to get connected. The charts are going through the roof right now with the city growth. And it's looking so damn beautiful. Well, today I want to continue the expansions. I want to actually kind of uh, extend the highway network. Now, we know the highway network works because when we've added highway networks in, and cities are now connected to other cities via road, it then encouraged their growth. And a really, really good example for this is Atlanta. Now, we connected Atlanta up, as you can see here, and we also connected Panama City up. Now, Panama City is a little bit difficult to understand because if I check the charts, there's a huge skyrocket. That's because we started to bring bricks down to it to build the city up. Now, Atlanta, we didn't do anything. The only thing that we did in Atlanta is connect it up via the highway. And since we've done that, look at that slight little growth that it's now kind of um, encouraging the city to go in an upwards trend. So we know it works and we want to continue the highway and get a few more cities connected. Now, before we do that, we also started kind of taking wood from over here and delivering it over into Portland. Now, as good as that is, we still are slightly running out of wood. We still are slightly running out of wood. So we do need more wood to keep coming in. So it might be a case of this line, it's so long, getting a secondary train on it. But also slightly changing up how uh, these stations interact with it. Now this station here, this platform here, it's kind of completely maxed out and I can't go any further. So it turns out that this did not work. We have to extend the line a little bit further. Now what I'm going to do is make sure we can actually do this though. Um, I can either do it on this one or can actually just stick to this one. Let me just see how far we can go with this. So we're going to get to about there and then I can't go any further. Now we had two platforms versus a potential four. I want to slightly change this all up. So wait for this to kind of bypass and get through. Once it's moved along a little bit further, we'll quickly pause the game. Boom. And we're going to do some deletings. So the, the deletings are now happening, boys. Just go to there, and we're going to switch this all out. So we can make this platform a little bit longer, but then have the train line on this side. So I can have a longer platform to kind of utilize. So there'll be more wood, or planks, logs, if you want to call it, waiting at the station. Now, for some reason, I can't get anything here. Is that because there's buildings here? Right, yeah. I know I'm deleting. But just, just go with it. Right, there we go. And then we'll bring this out. So bring you just to here real quick. And then skadoodle you around. And then off you go for the connection just there. Same with this. A little bit of a kerfuffle. As we bring this in there. And then we'll do the crisscross happening just here. So that will stop the bypassing train. I think I can have that there now as well, can't I? Um, well, I said bypassing train. The, well, bypassing train, yeah, it can go through. But also the passenger train hasn't got to kind of intertwine itself um, with this cargo train. Now, all we're going to do on this managing the line for the Portland Ore is moving it over to number one. Now, what happens is it gets the Portland Ore. And then it's got to go back down to Portland West. But for some reason, it's saying it can't now go back. Why? You have the ability to do this. So Portland or West, as it comes in, you have... Did I, the crisscross is there, right? You guys see the crisscross, right? What is going on? 
Why can I not do the crisscross to turn in? Is oh, is it to do with the platform? I mean, high speed. Well, that was electric, wasn't it? Oh, is that what it was? Because it wasn't electric. Yes, I believe so. I believe so. Now, hopefully, it's long enough that the train doesn't get stuck on it. But only time will tell. Well, I say only time will tell. We'll actually kind of find out in just a moment, wouldn't we? So, as this train now is going to skadoodle going out, train picking up the planks is now coming in. So, off the train now goes. Skadoodling. And I'm hoping the back end doesn't stick out too much. So, my passenger trains can still go completely past it. If so, we're going to have to kind of claim a little bit more platform back and move it up a bit further. But it is a long train. That's my only fear. It is, do you know what? I think it's going to hang out. I think it's too long. Right, how much wood's here right now? Quite a bit. Oh no, that's perfect! Amazing. Okay. That worked out fairly well. So we do also have the other route going back and forth down here. Which this little plant over there, it's not fully transported everything just yet, so we might need a, a, an additional train on this route. So if I manage the vehicle, if I just duplicate it. Now we should have some signals. And guess what? We don't. So we're going to need to add some more additional signals on. So we can have the multitude of trains tearing all the way through. Train is now coming out. Very good, very good. And then place that just there. And that's really all we would need to do. So hopefully that then ups the shipment numbers. It does take a little bit of a while. Uh, and we also have the ability to take wood from over here as well. So there's always that ability to extend this way or kind of connect that up to bring it up to there so they can kind of switch between the two if we really need to but i'm trying to put the whole reason for this is trying to provide more wood and so we can keep producing more planks which then produces more machines in la that's the whole reason behind this it is the whole reason behind this right now oh that's interesting so that passenger train there is a little bit too long Right, there's where the old road used to crisscross in it. Right, with that being so long, the cargo train can't bypass it. So I'll bring this down a little bit further. Ooh, okay. It's not going to work there, is it? It ain't going to work there, boys. Right, bring you to there. You to there. Right, that should do it. It's a little bit long-winded, but that should do it. It might be the same case on this side as well. Um, but yeah, it should do it. We shall see. But this is going to run out of wood again. Now, this is delivering some logs. Not as many, because this has come from the longer uh, path. But we do have a second train on it, so hopefully we can keep producing. There's uh, vast amounts of logs over here right now. I wonder if I can uh, extend this platform too. Oh, this is this. Hold on. Oh, I'd say is this a different platform? But no, it's the same. All right, we gotta claim some terraining right now. We'll try and go a little bit further to get one more out of it. Bam. Which can now house even more logs. Which, there's only more than what they can carry because there was a slight delay of the train getting here. But I'll take it. I will take it, boys. Lots of logs on this platform waiting. Right, okay. The, the only downside is, because it's such a short route, it can't go to, like, a higher speed. So this train coming in right now is going to stop. 
Now, problem we've got is it goes over the crissy cross there, so this train has to wait. But I'm hoping it can skadoodle quick enough, which I it's not really going to. But I think we can now get rid of this platform and this platform. And throw these platforms there to kind of move it along a little bit more. What is this train here now waiting for? Oh, it's waiting for the cargo train. So there you go. It does work. It does work quite gloriously. Right, okay. So we've got multiple trains now coming in. We've got another cargo train over there coming in right now, which will take um, the priority over the other one. Um, so we should see these numbers slightly increase. Yeah, the transport numbers are definitely doubled since then. So we'll give that a little bit of time. We'll come back to it because I want to build more highway. So, 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 so. What I'm thinking of doing right now then is another one of these cloverleaf interchanges here. We have a highway that comes in and ends at New Orleans and goes directly up to the Nashville. This one that comes across there, we'll go across, coming down this direction. Another cloverleaf there, we go straight into San Antonio. Oh, we've got Houston as well, so maybe actually bring it this way in and connect off it. Yeah. Right, let's figure out first then where we're going to have... Or do I have the highway go through here? Which probably make, would make the most sense. Hmm. Right, let's do street constructions. And let's build our interchange. So if I go for a large one, I think a large one would be quite fun. And we'll place this about here. And then we won't have another large one till wet. Um, I reckon I reckon about there right where they're all going to crisscross and meet one another then we'll utilize these and these will be the approach for each of the cities so if I had one there for Houston. We do one there for Austin slash San Antonio. We do one here for New Orleans. Now that's going to obviously go across here and would probably end up doing. <coughs> something like because obviously this is going to be a big crisscross there go that way so we'll have I'll have you there like that but at the same time I don't really want to have a big clover leaf so I'll probably do something like this I mean, this cloak. I'll give it a small one. But then again, I could use that one to be the whole thing. Right, okay, right. We've planted down the seeds right now. Let me delete all this. Because now we've got to try and run all the highways. Which, that in itself is going to be quite fun. So what I reckon we do is we get all of these connections to the cities and connect them to the cities first. So when we build the highway, as I'm building it, the cities are becoming connected as we tick along. So uh, streets, uh, we want highway and we'll do two lane roads. Oh, we also also want roundabouts as well. That's also, and we'll do, do we do a three lane? Now we'll keep it to a two lane and we'll go There's no crisscross to get over to New Orleans here, which I've got to add in. So I'll whack a round. I'm going to whack the roundabout. All right, delete you. Stick the roundabout just there. Now streets. 
we'll connect you up first. Connect you up. Now, we do want an overpass, which I reckon we delete you. Redo ya. But I'm going to go for an overpass. To bring you round and down. So it all comes from the roundabout. Then highway road. You're straight into there. Straight into there. That's done. A little bit long-winded, but you get the point of it. So then next, uh, we bring up the roundabout. So roundabout just here. Streetwise, we'll first get these connected. So you're straight in. You're to there. Do we go for one straight down? I mean, I don't know what difference it will make. But I'll do it anyway. Right, that's Houston done. We'll do on San Antonio next. There. Streets. Oh, where do I connect there? Do I do like a middle one or... Do you know what I could do? I have these both run into it. Might cause a little bit more chaos on the junction. But I'm all for it at this point. I'm all for it. There we go. So those three cities are now connected. We'll get over here, which is... Oklahoma's a crazy one because it's coming off a clover leaf. Which I find mental. Right, in. In. And then we'll go. Nice little bend there. Little bend there. And I'll just do the one here for now on that one. That's all in. So the only city I don't have connected right now is Nashville. I forgot to put one down for it. So we'll do one very quickly. And then roundabout. So this will probably be the easiest one. This will be the cleanest one, if I'm honest with you. The cleanest connection to a highway system. So I'm connecting one, two, I'm connecting five cities up right now on a highway system. I think this is the most I've connected in one go, right? Right, bam, bam, leave it like that. Right, okay, so. It's all two-lane highway, by the way, as well. It's all two-lane highway. So that's what we got to kind of remember. Now, this is going to connect right into there. And it should all snap in pretty clean. There we go. So that's perfect. This running down to here. So directly out into there. Oh, no, no tunnels. Bridge? Where's the bridge happening? Right there. Okay. You're a funky bridge, but I'll take it. So technically, New Orleans and Nashville are now connected. Glorious. I'm going to do all the easy ones first, is what I'm going to do. All the easy ones first. So, Houston and Austin are now connected. Oh dear. There we go. It gets a little bit tricky, but once you get the, the right angle coming away from the road, it's all pretty easy. So, Oklahoma, Austin, and Houston are now all connected on this highway system. So, we'll now bring this all the way out and see what it recommends as a connection. I'll go for a glorious big bridge. Alright, bringing you out. Straight down. Beautiful. 
One's a suspension bridge, one's not, which I find funny. Which now, Nashville, New Orleans is connected to Houston, but you got to go the long way around at this moment in time. So this will be interesting now then, how I, how I approach this. Do I do that or do I bring it up? I reckon we, or oh, bring it down. Or right, if we go for a slight tunnel then. All right, I gotta bring it above ground. We'll go suspension bridge for the funsies. Now this is annoying because now I've got to try and match it all. There we go. So this straight over. We'll go suspension on that as well. For the funsies. Alright, try and get it to not connect to you. And then this should now be all done. So this whole interconnected highways is done. All I've got to do is bring this road to here, and now now we connected from Texas to like New York, like as far as that, which is even crazy. Damn, as far as San Antonio and Oklahoma, all the way up to Boston via a highway network. That's crazy. I think we're going to bridge all of this one as well, though. Is what we'll do here. We'll we'll bridge this instead. So straight up and over. Question is. Yeah, I'm going to bring it back down. And then we'll raise it again just here. In what world is that the connection that they, they're suggesting? There we go. So now we've got to try and match this. Bring you down. All the way along to here. Come on, boy. There we go. There we go. Right. We're now officially connected. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but we're now officially connected. Are people using it? Now, granted, we don't have the lane math, okay? Two should become one or what, Jazz. But I won't worry just yet. I won't worry just yet. Um, beautiful suspension bridge right there. Absolutely amazing. So, this is interesting. We now have this vast highway network that we're now connected to. Which, all these cities are going to have increased destinations, which will cause... Because this is how the city grows, okay? How it works is, a city growth, it has its kind of population and its target population. Its target population is its base factor, and then multiplied to equal its value. So currently, Atlanta has a 220% uh, multiplier, which will work out to a town value size to 480 which it's 473 so it is about to grow up to that number now the percentage multiplier is based on these factors here um emissions take a negative effect so it takes percentages away but you got 180 plus 60 which is 240 
minus 20, which is 220, which is how you get that number. Um, when you connect up via roads, what you're doing is you're increased, increasing the, the destinations. So you're increasing what they're able to kind of travel via private transport. You're increasing this number, most importantly, but you also do increase this number slightly. There's more destinations. But there, you increase this number, which by increasing this number, increases the percentage multiplier. So if I add, if this goes up to 70%, it adds an extra 10% onto the multiplier value, which makes this number bigger and the city grows. That's literally how city growth works in this game. And obviously all the other kind of multipliers are food. You know, if you fill this up to like 440, that'll be 100%. I can add, I'll probably, if I got the, both of these to 100%, that's an extra 140 on top of the multiplier. New York could be a huge city. I just don't feed it enough. That's pretty much how it works. So we're now starting to see vehicles scheduling down. On our vast highway network, which is going to obviously come up, connect to more cities. I probably have to do like a, um, something here that kind of cuts through to meet up to this one over there to connect up Pittsburgh and all these cities as well. Maybe even make a Montreal kind of connect down here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens in the future. But that's pretty much how it's going to work. It's quite exciting, isn't it? It is quite exciting seeing all these cities now all of a sudden be connected to it. So only time will tell what it does in terms of city growth. I think the big city you'll see the difference with is Nashville. Because Nashville has been left alone for, for forever. It has the same food and machine supply coming in, but now all of a sudden, we're going to have this increased ability to kind of get to new destinations via private transport, which that number just jumped. It's now 575. Can we catch it jump again? 579. Would it jump again? Hold on. Hold on. So that number's slowly increasing, and that'll be happening to a lot of the other cities we've just connected. So we should see Nashville slightly grow as well. So it should be, you know, it'll be interesting, boys, it'll be interesting. You just gotta give it some sweet, sweet time. So, while we give it some time anyway, then, how is this doing over here? Is this now officially maxed out? Yes. Shipment numbers aren't exactly there just yet, but we've got multiple trains coming in. Which works out for us. Another train coming in right now. Another train about to drop in a load of goods as well. So that's good then. We, we're starting to see maximum amounts of planks being produced. Which will only then increase the amount of um, machines that we produce. Hopefully anyway. Load more goods about to be dropped off. Thanking you very much. There we go. Perfect. So not saying we're going to have a load of machines being produced right now, but we should have more consistent deliveries. We're waiting for a delivery of planks to come in right now, which the train is just here. So in it comes. Dropping all the goods off. Do we need a third train on this route, you reckon? Now we make cash, but I'm not, I'm not sure if we need like a third train on it. I'll get one just in case anyway oh but oh okay so that's why we had no planks because the trains are pretty much borderline coming together damn <coughs> the damn boys and now we gotta wait a gazillion years later but it's producing we just need more frequent deliveries that's what's pretty much going on more frequent deliveries how are we doing over here then? Is anything over here a little bit overwhelmed? The food to Phoenix. Do we need to uh, increase the size of this vehicle? This train, I mean. I think so. I'll make it a 200 capacity. That'll definitely give everything you know what it needs at that point. LA looks uh, like it could do with a little bit of a... Uh, a bulk up as well. Extra 20 on board, why not? Extra 20 on board. <laughs> Wasn't really much, but every little helps. Every little helps. So this is our uh, one going to Phoenix anyway, so this should kind of uh, load up quite a bit. Boom. 
Bam. Completely filled itself up. That was glorious. Which is going to provide a lot more to Phoenix. How is Phoenix these days? So we could do some more road connections, which we would eventually get there. Look at the road connections, 540 for a city that's not connected, but is connected everywhere else in like planes and some trains and buses and all that jazz. Versus a city like, for example, you know, let's go to New York, 2000, Washington, 2000, Boston, 2000. Even a smaller city like Savannah over here, 1200, 1500, Atlanta, 1,400 almost. Uh, Nashville now has gone to extra percentage and so that charge is even growth very shortly. Um, but that's got more people. So it all helps. It all helps, boys. It all helps. Amazing. Right. Shipment numbers are definitely increasing. Picking up loads of planks right now. Oh, we're out of wood again. Holy moly. Always seem to be out of wood, don't we? Always seem to be out of wood. But we'll get a close delivery here coming in right now as they pick up the goods from, from there. I don't know whether this train could maybe do with... I want to see what the, the length of this sticks out by, because I'm going to see if I can add an extra kind of carriage or two on the end. Let's see how much it sticks out by. So we could get away with potentially two more. I'll add two more onto it. Yeah. Right, for some reason it didn't fully load up. Can I can make can I make it turn around again? No. Fine. Oh, I it didn't get the chance to kind of load back up again. But that's okay. That's okay. Next time it comes round, there should be 40 more planks than being, or wood than being delivered. Because it is slightly missing out. We should have another train on the way as well, which is carrying 157. So yeah, those numbers are definitely increased. Right, how's San Francisco these days? And have they seen like a huge growth spurt? They, they have. Ever since we kind of placed down some roads and kind of switched some stuff out, we've seen some vast improvements. Uh, someone left a comment in the last episode saying, saying uh, it's probably be a good idea to get rid of the bay just so it can grow. And as much as I don't want to, it's kind of something that we're going to have to think about doing to allow San Francisco to actually grow. We will eventually get it connected up to its own highway network as well. But until all that stuff can happen with these cities, this is just how it is. So hopefully with this next delivery, which you've got coming in right now, might cause a little bit of growth to then happen. Roads are already starting to build. You see its target population is a 507. And the fact that we're only 143 just shows us that it's really been hindered via its... Uh, its, it, it's it, you know location on the map. I didn't realize how big that was. What about like Eureka? Do you know what? Eureka's not that big. It's crazy how the city is also over there. But yeah, San Francisco is going to go for a huge growth spurt. Its target's really big. Like, really big. I think we're struggling over here as well for carrying passengers. Um, we're going to do a nice little bus... Yeah, we, ba we barely touch any of the... Uh, Residential. I'm going to connect that road there. Right, create a quick little loop. So, yeah, they got to go all the way, long way around. 
well, I'll sort that momentarily anyway. Right, buy some vehicles, passenger, and we'll get four. There we go. Is that road huge in terms of height difference? It looks like it. But if you delete it back, and hopefully the gradient would match, yes. So that goes through perfectly. And then we'll try and do a little bit of a smoothening right now. It won't be perfect. But it all helps. Slope is too much. I'll do it like that. Slight little bend on it. Slight little bend on it. So that should increase then the connections for Fresno, which in turn will then increase the city growth for Fresno. So it was always getting what it needed. It's just because, and I don't know how long it's, well, it's been like this for ages. Think of how, many, how long it's been where this passenger train station doesn't even connect to any of the passengers. Shocking, mate. Shocking. Right, we should see a huge growth spurt. Same with San Francisco. It will get worse before it gets better. But very good. Very good. Right, did the train eventually pick up all the goods? Oh, the train's only just heading back right now. Lots of wood available. There's so much wood over here available as well. But I think the delay in getting back here has kind of slightly messed us all up. Oof. Oof. Okay. Busy Cloverleaf. You'll be, you would think, I mean, it, it's probably down to the fact that we've got good public transport, but you would think that these junctions will be like super busy. But I think it's just a, uh, down to the fact we have good public transport. We have no connection over here, but was it Houston that was quite busy with this road here? Yeah. It is also the only connection to get from one side to the other. So we'll try and add an additional connection in there. Just trying to see if there was a, an ability to uh, go underneath. But I don't think we're going to be able to because of the uh, the train track underneath. So we might have to try and elevate it up and over. Right, if I can go to there. Right, that works over. So it doesn't have to then mess around with the train line. It gives an alternative way to kind of connect over. And hopefully alleviate the pressures of the train stopping and starting the traffic all the time. We shall see. We shall see. Okay, okay. Nashville. Oh, is it slightly going down? It does do that sometimes. As people now have the ability to connect, they will move to other cities. So it does happen sometimes where it does go down, but then it, then you kind of get the, the growth spurt coming back up again. So this city can't grow anymore until obviously it starts getting some food being delivered. We got an underutilized food plant over here, which we really should be utilizing it a bit more. We really should. We do connect up to it as well. So we could get food delivered here. We could actually get food delivered there. Oh, do you know what we could do? Get food delivered there and then feed New York. Because you know how I wanted to uh, make New York 1,500 population? Oh, we've got ideas, boys. We've got ideas. And I think we'll put those ideas into practice in the next episode. But we will end it for now. Lots of big things are now going to be happening, boys. I'm making too much cash right now. Um... I mean, I've spent loads of money recently, which is why my expenditure has gone slightly up. 
But hopefully the profit all comes back. And it doesn't bite us in the booty. But until next time, boys, I will see you all soon. So, good.